Tonight, police are investigating a violent home invasion that happened in the middle of the afternoon. Police say a masked man forced his way into a local home and attacked the owner. And tonight, neighbors are speaking out about the brazen crime. From the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik is live outside the scene in Cranston with the details new at 11. Yeah, and Susan, I actually spoke with that victim's family as well, and they say at last check he was still at Rhode Island Hospital. That home invasion did happen right here behind me at this house. We're told that the victim and his mother live on the first floor. They rent out the upper two floors, and police say a masked man barged his way right in through the front door. The victim's family believes it's a landlord eviction gone wrong, and police are not commenting on a motive, but tell us it was a violent, broad daylight home invasion. Around 2 o'clock Tuesday, police were called to the first floor of this home on Beckwith Street, not too far from Park Ave, after a masked man burst into the apartment and violently assaulted the 49-year-old homeowner, who family says lives there with his mother. Neighbors are stunned. We've had no incidents since we've lived here and I've been here for five years and we've had no problems whatsoever. Police say the victim was knocked in the head and struggled with the masked man until family says he was finally able to unmask him. The intruder ran off. Family says they believe it's in retaliation for an eviction. Police will only, however, say they're searching for a white male, six feet tall, 200 pounds, driving a silver or gray Mustang. And I can tell you that detectives have been at the house late into the night here tonight. The victim, we're told by family members, should hopefully also be released from the hospital sometime tonight. Reporting live from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom from Cranston, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.